Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Last night we finally hit it. We hit 1,300 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough for that. It means so much to me. I posted it on my Instagram and my Twitter that would hit it. And after that, I got around another 10... I think it was 10, somewhere between 10 and 15 more of you hit that subscribe button. I was so ecstatic last night. I couldn't believe it. We gained about 20 subscribers last night. Thank you guys so much for that. So if you guys are new around here, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I've got a good feeling we're going to smash it, so hit that subscribe button, guys. Make sure you drop an early like as well. But before we do hop into today's video, I wanted to speak to you quickly about a little plans for the channel. This video, I'm going to try and up my quality, well, from now, not just this video, up the quality on the channel dramatically. I'm going to be editing this video, well, I'm going to change my editing software, I'm going to use Premiere Pro now, a lot of, well, most people use that. I use iMovie currently, and yeah, it's really simple, really good, you know, if you're new to this, that's why I used it, because it was simple and effective, you know, I could add a bit of music in the background, add my face cam in, it, some nice cuts, and some effects here and there. But it, was, it is very limiting, so I'm going to be using Premiere Pro. I'm going to try and add some effects in. I am also planning on upgrading my mic. I've seen a condenser mic I'm going to be purchasing. You know, like it comes on a hanger, so it's like hanging over the top like that, which looks pretty cool. But I'm trying to find the right one at the minute, you know, uh, what's good, what's bad, because I'm not 100% sure. I really need to do my research on them. And I've noticed in the past couple of my videos, the camera quality has not been the best on the face cam. Uh, so I'm thinking of upgrading my camera. But as you can see right now, the camera quality looks decent. I've got the nice light behind me I need to figure out to block that light but I've, I'll talk about that in a second obviously I think a big part of the bad camera quality in the previous videos is because the weather in the UK right now has not been the best we've had some absolutely amazing weather and the last week has been like pure rain and it's been gloomy so the natural light I've been using has not been great at all it's been dull it's been horrible basically not being given a good quality on me uh, from the camera perspective from the natural light of the window behind me well, behind you guys, it's in front of me, it's there. Uh, so I'm going to be getting a key light to try and alter that issue. Not sure how it's going to work out, but I've seen one that looks pretty decent. So I'm going to be buying one of those as well to try and bring a little bit more light to my face. And on terms of the face cam as well, I'm going to be flipping my setup around. So basically, I'm going to have my back to this wall here that you can see. And then, obviously, I'm going to add some things in the background. I want to get some nano leafs eventually, but they're crazy expensive. So hold tight for them. They're going to be coming soon. And hopefully, that's when the key light's going to come into play as well. Obviously, I'll not have the natural light as bang on my face like I do now. So the key light will help in them, that aspect, and it will also take out that, which is kind of annoying in the background as well, because obviously, I told everyone I did my room up a few weeks ago now. Still waiting to order some blinds. I really need to get some ordered. I'm just being lazy and not getting some. Well, my mom isn't getting me any. But yeah, so I'll make sure I get onto her about them. But hopefully, it should be sorted in the next video. I'm going to flip it around after I've recorded this. But yeah, sorry to bore you guys with that. You know, that's super annoying. Hopefully, you guys didn't get too bored and you've not clicked off the video already. I'll probably put a little uh, description and saying where to skip to if you're not bothered about this part if you want to get straight to the video. Boring! But yeah guys, in today's video I'm going to be covering the Kilo. Rumour has it, a lot of other YouTubers have been saying as well, that this is better than the ground now. The damage range is higher than the ground apparently as well. And there's a lot of other factors that I'm sure you guys might be already be aware of uh, that makes this gun way better than the grout. And basically in today's video, I want to try this out because I wasn't sure if I believe this myself. The grout is easily... Well, it's between the M4A1 and the grout. I like them both equally. I can't decide which is better. But grout is, in some of your guys' you know, views, is the best AR in this game. Apparently the Kilo is better than it, so I'm going to be testing that in this game. I feel like I've repeated myself a thousand times. But yeah, as you can see on the screen, this is the class that we're going to be using. It's quite an aggressive Kilo setup. We're going to be playing some Shoe House, so hopefully we can tear it up with this. So if you want to try to set up out for yourself, you can, you know, screenshot it or do whatever, you know. It's theirs, for, it's yours for the taking, you know. But yeah, let's find out if the Kilo is really better than the Growl. Let's hop straight into a game right now, guys, and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Okay, guys, we are playing some Cranked on Shoe House. Hopefully we can have a decent game here. And let me know if I'm playing a bit. Oh my god, get a first kill right there. That's what I always like to see. Kill before death to start the game. I always just like, to, where the hell was that? Oh my god, it was in the window. I didn't even see that kid. But yeah, let me know if I'm playing a little bit too much shoot house. Is he still there? Oh my days, he's in the other window now. That's so annoying. Two stupid deaths straight off the bat. Hopefully we can pull this back and get some streaks in. But yeah, let me know if I'm playing too much shoot house. Obviously, it's the 24-7 playlist right now. It is actually my favourite map in this game. So I just love playing it, you know. 
it makes for a great map for some you know class setups obviously it's long ranges close ranges you know it really does bring some good videos like it really helps me out but yeah let me know if you want me to switch it up a little bit i'd be more than happy to you know i like playing a little bit of domination and stuff so on the other maps as well so i've been playing a lot of search as well recently you guys loved yesterday's video as well so we get a nice little triple kill there we'll take that well a fury kill in fact and hopefully no one sneaks up on me while i'm stunned but you guys loved yesterday's video, you absolutely smashed it, I think it got like two, over 200 views and we gained so many subscribers from that as well so I'm super duper happy. But if you guys are new then make sure you are hitting that like button and you know, make sure you've got bell notifications turned on as well so you stay up to date. Oh my god I'm going to die, please don't kill me. We are on a nice little streak right now, I'm trying to focus up real quick. Don't know where that guy's going, we've got 17 seconds left on the crank. Oh my god my aim's awful, I really thought that kid was going to kill me. We've got a VTOL though, we'll take it. Hopefully we can get the advance. Hopefully we don't choke it. I'm trying to figure out where they're at right now though. I might have to push through the office building. See what's going off. Nobody here by the sound looks of things. But we'll keep we'll keep going, we'll keep going. But yeah, thanks for the support on that. We'll just, oh my god, we've got eight seven seconds left on this crank. Six seconds, five. Oh my god, I can't find a single soul. Two we've got a second. Oh my days! I think we had just less than a second there to get that kill. That was so close. Probably the closest I've ever been. I really thought this streak was over. That's the annoying thing about cranks. You know, you've got to be aggressive, and I really wasn't there. So try and keep the tempo up. This guy going to peek. C4 is not going to get him. But yeah, I'm hoping the upgrades I'm going to be making to the setup are going to be, you know, quite dramatic for, you know, the YouTube quality. Let's call this VTOL him right now. There we go. Oh my god, don't kill me, please. Where the hell did that come from? Oh my days. We're on a merciless right now, let's go. But yeah, thank you guys for the support on the yesterday video. Kind of stopped talking about it. But yeah, I think I'm going to make it into a uh, series. Uh, try and, you know, destroy like trash talkers or people who are just being so toxic in lobbies. Because I don't know if, well, I presume you guys, oh, we've got the advance there, let's go. There's a guy here, let me just kill this kid quickly. There we go. Trying to look at the radar, this guy coming. There we go. I think I'm going to push around here. Quickly kill these guys. Oh my day. But yeah, basically, I've got one lined up as well, another episode for that. Uh, I come, obviously, the search and destroy lobbies in this game are so toxic. It really brings back some kind of nostalgia from Modern Warfare 2. People just love giving stick in the game chat, and it's so funny when you can give a little bit back and actually come out on top. I joined a game yesterday, a search and destroy game, and I joined it late, I think. We was losing, and this enemy team was basically, after every round, going ham it was, you know seeing how shit we were and all that and then I turned the game around well me and this other guy actually uh, who's just random in the game and it made for a really great video you know it's, I'm not planning on making it like these kind of videos with the face cam and a live com basically obviously I have it already recorded with the game chat and stuff so I don't know if I'm going to implement a face cam onto that well I'm not going to be able to on this episode because I didn't record with the uh, face cam my plan is to have it similar to how a Vanos gaming video used to be, if you guys remember them. But there's no face cam and there's subtitles at the bottom of the screen and it just makes it such a like a funnier video in my opinion anyway. But yeah, let me know if oh my days that kid just got destroyed. Let me know if you guys agree with that. And if it's definitely something you'd love uh, oh my days, there's some more kids here, hang on. There's one more there, you're gonna die. After one more. He's got away, this guy behind me though, cause him on the radar. There we go, let's go. That guy's just got absolutely destroyed. This kilo though feels decent, that's the end of that game. Okay guys, we're back in the lobby, I've finished what I was saying. Obviously the content's going to be very season 4 heavy when it does drop. So the S&D like series I'm starting probably will go on hold for a week or two. So I can just basically cover everything to do with season 4, all the new updates to every single gun, you know. It is what it is, it's a really great time when seasons do drop. There's so much content to cover, so much new things, you know, I really do enjoy it. Hopefully it drops soon, I don't know when it's going to be. But yeah, all we can do is hope, so let's just hope it's soon. But apart from that guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did then smash a like and if you guys are new around here make sure you smash that subscribe button well as well but if you are already subscribed make sure you do have bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on a single video i do upload i upload every single day call of duty content so make sure you are smashing that subscribe button as well if you are new i really do suck at outros i just muddle my words up every single time but apart from that guys make sure you follow me on my instagram and my twitter links for them are in the description below to stay up to date with anything else that's going off in my life but anyway apart from that guys thank you guys so much for watching i hope to catch you guys on the next one. Peace.